Imagine this, you're creating an app that's kind of like Facebook. So you've got videos and you've got posts and you want that video to have a whole bunch of comments, okay? Like in Facebook where you've got a bunch of comments underneath the video and maybe there's posts as well that also have a bunch of comments nested underneath them. Now you might think to yourself, okay, Luke, well, I already know about one-to-many relationships. So I'm just going to create a new field here and I'm going to set this to video underscore ID. And then if I want to relate this comment to the video, well, I just connect the ID and then this video knows about the comment. But then later on down the line, you might be thinking, okay, I want to relate this to a post as well. Uh, how do we do that? Well, I'm going to have to add another field here called post ID. All right. So then when you have another comment, you use the post ID. But the only problem with that is well, we've got this redundant field here, which is video ID that we're not even using. And now with this comment, we have a post ID that we're not using. And also, what about scaling this? What about when you then want to relate a comment to maybe a user? So we've got user ID, or maybe you're commenting on a page. So then you'd have to add another one here, which would be page ID. And of course, this doesn't scale very well and it gets a little bit out of control. And that's why we've got what's called a one-to-many polymorphic relationship. And I know that word polymorphic can be a little bit scary, but don't worry, I'm going to explain it to you in this video. Okay, so let's get rid of these fields here. Get rid of that one. And I'm gonna bring over a couple of fields that I prepared earlier, commentable type and commentable ID. Okay, so how do these work? Well, the way I like to think about this is reading it backwards, as you might've seen in my other videos. So if we're trying to relate this video to this comment, we would say, what's the type of the thing that's able to relate to a comment? Well, in this case, that would be video. So we set it to videos, the entity name. And then what is the ID of the thing that is able to relate to this comment? In this case, it would be four. And now these two are related. And now if we want to relate another comment to this video, we can just make another comment, set the commentable type to videos, set the commentable ID in this case to four. And now that video can find all of its comments and these comments can find the video. And the way it would do this is say, okay, I am a video. So let's find all of the comments with a commentable type of videos and with an ID of four. And that would return these two comments. All right, so what about a post now? Well, we'd copy these and let's say it out loud. The type of the thing that relates, that is able to relate to a comment is a post. So we connect these two like so. And what's the ID of the thing that's able to relate to this comment? It is six. So now this post is able to know about the comment and we can easily make another one just like we did before. So let's just throw that up there. Commentable type would be post, commentable ID would be six. Okay, so if this is looking a little bit scary, let me just show you one more time simplifying things. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of this. And let's go through it one more time. So what is the type of the thing? So what's the model that's able to relate to this comment? In this case, that would be videos. And what is the ID of this thing that is able to relate to a comment? In this case, it would be four. And that is the one-to-many polymorphic relationship. See you in the next video.